Hi, this is Kerry from Optical Structures, and today we're looking at some high quality refracting telescopes that we're bringing in. These telescopes are coming in from Taiwan and they're actually uh, made by a manufacturer who's branded them for over two decades for some very popular resellers. Um, so you may notice the look and feel of these. Um, we're going to bring them in unbranded. We're looking at the an ED Apo triplet. This is like their premium um, refractor. Uh, first thing you'll notice, the build quality is is superb. Everything um, fits and moves uh, very nicely. Uh, it's got a nice polish. Um, the, this particular telescope comes with the clamshell rings. I'm going to pick it up and flip it around and show you. It's got these nice clamshell rings. Um, they're felt lined so they don't scratch the telescope. Uh, if you buy the telescope from us, we have um, dovetail mounting bars for top and bottom. We have the D size bar, as well as the Vixen size bar that lets you put it on uh, any mount. So those are an option for you. Um, this particular telescope's an 85 millimeter aperture F6.6. So it's a nice um, starter imaging telescope. So this telescope is actually a pretty good all around telescope. Um, it'll make a good uh, short focal length visual telescope. Um, or an imaging telescope. Again, it's a triplet refractor, so it has good image quality all the way to the edge. Probably a suitable um, astro camera would be a DSLR or an APS-C sized uh, specialty astro camera. So if you're just getting into astronomy uh, with the intent that you might want to do astrophotography, this is a, a good starting place. It's it's a high quality telescope. It's not a cheap telescope. You'll have to spend some money for it. Um, but you'll be able to do visual astronomy and then it'll carry you through some pretty respectable astrophotography um, as you get more experienced. So the focuser is actually a pretty high quality rack and pinion. It's got a 10 to 1 uh, reduction knob for fine focusing and it's got a really long draw. Uh, I'll just dial that out. And what that means for you as a user is that it will accommodate um, a diagonal for visual observing, so you don't have to kink your neck, or it'll bring a camera to focus. So it's, it's really set up as a dual purpose focuser. It also has a rotating focuser here like this, so you can orient the position against the sky as you see fit. So we're making these available uh, right now. You can pre-order them. We have our first shipment coming in uh, from Taiwan. Uh, the scheduled ship date is April 26th of 2021. So that's just really a few days from now.